So we touched on it a little bit um, regarding the pandemic um, and how you've had to adjust a little bit, but just talk about some positives that have come out of the pandemic from a business standpoint for you and what something that you or maybe multiple things that you've been able to take out of um, changes that you made within the business or some time that you had to kind of reevaluate your business and what something that you're going to take forward from this that is going to make your business better. We, what we really appreciated was uh, when things were really starting to change in March, you know, we obviously quickly recognized that uh, we were not going to have a full prom season like we normally would. Mm -hmm. So prom season we consider is, is really January through the end of April, beginning of May. So it's about six months. That's our really, really busy time. Yeah. Um, and obviously that was pretty apparent that that was not happening. Uh, you know, in late February, people were, you know, schools were starting to uh, cancel. And, yeah. and so we knew that we were gonna need to adjust and, and be able to answer a lot of questions. Parents had a lot of questions and we totally, you know, understood that. So um, we, when we made the decision to go for a little while, just to appointment only, um, that was really amazing because we were able to control our environment, protect anybody that's coming in and out by knowing exactly when they were gonna be there and how many people we were gonna have in. And as a result, we really got to have a great experience, totally focused on just the shoppers that were in the store and not having distractions of a bunch of other people walking sure. in and out. I mean, of course, we're always happy to have walk-in traffic, but just being completely focused on that appointment was amazing. Yeah. And so we really appreciated that. Um, and, and our shoppers did too. So when we really saw that change, we started to think about what does that look like in the future? Do we stay appointment only? Mm -hmm. um, we have, as a result, really encouraged people and moved to that model of mostly appointments. Yeah. Um, and just um, what does it look like then for the future of prom? I think people are still asking that question right. because we're now looking at you know first quarter and second quarter of next year, and there are probably still going to be some things that are not completely open, right. and, or you know that we're able to do. So, so um, you know our prom shoppers, they're in a completely different stage of life, and so when they would come in to shop they aren't thinking about what's happening with a bridal appointment and mm -hmm. the decisions that are being made there. And so we started to think about, okay, do we need to be able to separate this out so that we can have a totally prom focused experience and mm -hmm. a totally bridal focused mm -hmm. experience so that both have awesome experiences and shopping opportunities, but both are completely different. Right. Um, so we really kind of started talking about that. Do we, open a separate shop do we how do we separate that out in this building because we don't have two fire exits in the basement we couldn't turn that into a shoppable okay. space so that's where we knew we had to look outside of the of our own shop and and start considering what that would look like for prom and that's where the new shop came from very cool